Welcome to Course and Learning Outcomes, Module 3. Make sure your syllabus follows local college approval guidelines and procedures. In my case, I have the syllabus printed here, I also have a PDF, and I have a Microsoft Word document with the syllabus that the student can download. Let me show you the Microsoft Word document. As you can see, it has the Somerset header. It is the template that we are all provided with, and it follows the guidelines for all sections, including the ADA section, that are required. Make sure your syllabus follows the template. You also want to make sure that you are posting your course schedule either with your syllabus or as a tentative course schedule. As you can see here, my tentative course schedule is in the form of a table with the weeks, the due dates, and the learning objective on the left hand side and the assignments on the right hand side. This is also made available for students to download as a PDF document. You have to make sure that you clearly state measurable student learning outcomes. Let me give you an example of that. In my week 5 folder, students are getting ready to write their first essay. So as they're scrolling down, they're getting step-by-step -step guidelines on their first essay, but most importantly, they are also getting the rubric that I will be using to grade their essays. This way, they clearly can understand what I expect and what they need to do to get maximum points. The rubric is right here for them to read, but they can also download it as a Word document or as a PDF file. In addition, you have to make sure to include learning activities and content that supports course competencies and learning outcomes. One of the examples I will choose to show you is, is a critical thinking exercise that I use with my students. They have to evaluate sources on the World Wide Web. In order to do this, I show them three videos all about researching online, evaluation of web page, and evaluating sources. In addition, I provide them with seven websites that they need to evaluate. This is a journal entry for them and they have to write a paragraph about each of these websites. Mind you, three of these websites are a hoax. One of them is the RYT Hospital Twain Medical Center, a fictional hospital that advertises things such as head transplants and male pregnancy. In addition, we have the Save the Guinea Worm Foundation. As everyone knows, the guinea worm is a parasite, and it is very doubtful that there would be a safe the guinea worm foundation. However, my students will look at these websites and evaluate them, and we will see how good their critical thinking skills are. <laughs> 